Back in November, I asked for prayer for Operation Rescue, which runs three centres supporting about 700 destitute children and their families operating in Tigray in northern Ethiopia. And I did so because civil war had broken out in Tigray in early November. And for six weeks, we had no way of communicating with the staff uh, in Operation Rescue. And for me personally, that was uh, meant being cut off from folk that I really consider to be my second family. There was no telephone or internet and news media were forbidden from filming or reporting from inside Tigray. So it was indeed a very worrying situation. But it took us to our knees. We could only pray for God to protect them all um, and to provide for the, the obvious needs they, they must have had. So as I speak to you today, I'm coming really to thank you for your prayers, which have been wonderfully answered. As we've been able to get little bits of communication through short phone calls, there's still no internet, uh, it's become clear that God has wonderfully protected them. All the staff and the children at the three centres are safe. And we definitely know that the two centres at McKelly, the main one, and that Adigrat have also been protected. Um, there were obviously attempts uh, to, to loot them and so on, but God uh, prevented any damage being done. Um, electricity and water supplies have uh, come back uh, into the area. Uh, but just at the beginning of last week, the, the main problem still was food because the banks were closed and uh, no one could uh, access money to, to buy food. And Katachu, the manager, was obviously very, very concerned about the children in the project and their, their need for food. But again, God has answered prayers in an amazing way. The Operation Rescue staff made an application to the local authorities and through the local Red Cross, they were allocated an incredible 40 tonnes of food. No other NGO in the area was treated that way. I think it's a sign of how much uh, Operation Rescue is, is respected locally. And by the end of last week, 90% of that food had been distributed to the children and their families. Um, he Watt, who's the senior woman in the project, told me of her immense joy of seeing the relief and the gratitude of the families and even more how they were praising God for his uh, provision. Katachi, the manager, now uh, has as a priority to try to get some food up to the other centres in Adigrat and Adwa. He's also awaiting official permission to open the centre in Makele, which provides services for um, uh, almost 500 uh, children. Um, the staff continue to, to praise God and to thank those at home uh, for their prayers. The verse that has come to my mind concerning this is Psalm 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. That's what they believe has happened. God has delivered them and they give him all the praise and the glory. So I just want to thank you so, so much for um, standing with them uh, during this uh, great time of need. And your prayers for them in the coming days will also be much appreciated. Thank you so much.